Okay, well, good morning. Uh, we have 45 and growing. Uh, we have our staff at ASB and uh, we have some. <coughs> and I know I've, I've disabled, I think, the waiting room. So anybody that comes on now should be able to just go join automatically. Uh, so welcome. And, uh, and to those of you who are parents, uh, good morning. And parent meeting. This will be a brief meeting, but we wanted to uh, have this uh, as we are doing our two days of virtual learning uh, with the students. And as we explained in, a, in an email or a letter to everybody, uh, originally was to be a holiday today and tomorrow as a midterm break and, and, and including Prophet's birthday on Thursday. However, having started a few days late, we needed to make sure we recovered uh, our or four days, these are two of them. And we also wanted to make sure that we are fully prepared virtually for all students, not just a handful of students. Um, as of the end of this week, we'll, we will be down to about eight students doing virtual learning who are based in Bahrain, and one student who is, in, is the last person of our students. We had about 20 to start with who were uh, stuck in various countries around the world due to COVID and fortunately all but one has been able to join us now. Um, so what we'd like to do today is just a, a few words from myself, from Steve Bodner, our principal, from Sandra Alajmi, our early childhood lead teacher, and from Suad Al Zaroti, who is our head of Arabic language and culture. <clears throat> and then also to give all of our teachers and teachers assistants just a quick opportunity to say hi and introduce themselves, their grade level or their subject area, because due to these strange times we are living in, in fact, there was a seven foot eight green monster in the school yesterday. And I don't know if it had something to do with COVID or if it was just six days early for Halloween, but uh, he did appear. So uh, I'll start- We've heard about that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, uh, I think it was a guy who always wished he was a little taller, and so he took advantage of it. Five. Um, so uh, I want to thank you on behalf of all staff for your patience. I know anytime you start a new venture, whether it's a business or uh, a school, there's always going to be some hiccups. Uh, I'm really thrilled with how we've been able to start out, considering I think many people thought up until two or three days before the school opened, would we actually open? And, and in fact, we delayed it about five days and it wasn't because the school itself physically wasn't ready. We wanted to be absolutely ready that we were ready to put COVID precautions in and make sure we do everything in our power and our control to make sure we and our students were safe and healthy. Um, and as you know, this changes day by day, week by week, and knock on wood, we'll uh, continue to go in the right direction in terms of number of cases in the, uh, in the kingdom. Uh, there, are, there are a few little issues for us. We've got still um, a, a, a shipment, which will just make it that much more special with 11 pallets of resources. Uh, we certainly have the resources we need, but this will add to it, which is, is due to arrive mid next week. And then once it goes through customs, we'll have all those materials in the school. iPads and laptops were slow because of um, reduction in, in Apple uh, manufacturing and delivery. However, we believe that's been corrected now and we should be back to normal soon. And of course our uniforms, uh, which we're so happy to see the students in. And I, as much as they won't admit it, especially sort of middle and high school students who I think enjoyed a little more casual approach for the first few weeks, uh, I think they're, they're really happy with them and they seem to uh, enjoy now looking the part of an ASB student. We continue to tweak COVID precautions. And again, this is really, we, we meet regularly the senior team, our facilities manager, um, and it, we're in regular contact with the uh, health authorities. And so anything we feel isn't working and we've got some feedback from students and staff and parents, uh, we try to address that. Uh, for instance, even though the students, I think we're doing an outstanding job of doing their best to try to, try to uh, socially distance themselves, um, the cafeteria was a challenge for us. Even though we had broken it down into two different sessions for grades three to, eight, three to nine, 
it's still hard to tell two grade fours that they can get across from each other. They want to socialize. They want to talk. So we have put the biters into the into the cafeteria, and that's really helped that situation. And we're much more comfortable with that now. And we'll do that on a daily basis. Um, uh, yesterday we had our what I would call our first school wide uh, event. Uh, costume day and in the um, early childhood section it was a full week really a full unit uh, but fall festival and I, I think the, um, the fact that probably 90% or a little over 90% of students from pre-k to grade nine dressed in some some costume or another um, and every single staff member I believe I can't think of any staff member and if I think about it I'll name them out no I won't uh, but I think everybody uh, had uh, joined in and it's much more than the fun of dressing up and in costumes and the celebration itself. I, I really felt it was a catalyst uh, really for, for bringing the community together, not necessarily physically, but I think uh, socially and emotionally being part of something that uh, we're all celebrating together. Um, and most importantly, it's a day that gave us a sense, of, a greater sense of belonging um, and it gave students, I think, the chance to feel that they're part of something really important. And, and, and more than academics or the coursework and the teaching, which is all obviously our priority, I think if we can get that part of it and in a new school and get students and staff to feel like, one, they, they belong, uh, they're happy and they're engaged and they feel socially safe, uh, they're all, students are much more likely to be academically successful. And at the end of the day, that's our, that's our top priority. And if we do that, if we can create an environment which we're working on all the time, uh, then I think we're gonna have really successful kids. And at the end of the day, it's something that's near and dear to my heart, uh, happy and engaged students. Uh, I don't think we should ever underestimate the importance uh, that a sense of happiness has and, and the way it plays into the life of a child. Um, we are... Uh, Pleased to announce the, that we've received a huge amount of interest from the community. I can't tell you how many phone calls and emails I answered over the last six months, or especially prior to school, saying, but is this school really going to be ready? Is it going to be physically there? And as a new school in a world pandemic, uh, that's a very legitimate question for any parent. And so we thank you for your trust in us. Uh, we will continue to do everything we can to evolve into what I believe will be a world-class uh, academic program experience for children. Um, and so we've had, uh, I, I don't even know, I've sort of lost count how many tours we've had. We do tours every Wednesday at four o'clock and those have been well attended. There were 19 last Wednesday of people coming to the school and they come from all walks of Bahrain uh, various schools, a lot of the schools you will have heard of, um, and uh, they make up a lot of pers prospective parents. And uh, so we're doing a lot of those and we're, we're it's, it's a thrill to show off the school, but I have to say doing it outside of school time, which is what we're required to do and it makes most sense, is sort of like going to the cinema and not watching the movie because the stars here are our students and you don't really see how alive a place is until you measure the smiles on the students in your building. It doesn't matter if we have 100 in the school or 1,200 in the school. To me, that is the greatest barometer that will lead to what I believe it will be in a, a successful school. So if you have any family or friends that are looking, um, uh, Shelly, as I think everybody that was an applicant had met, uh, my wife, Shelly McMaster, uh, had met uh, is continuing to uh, deal with the um, application process, uh, taking it, uh, accepting uh, applications, and they are coming in fast and furious, which is nice. Um, and we're continuing to do assessments again, mostly after school and on weekends. If you do have family or friends that are interested, please let them know that we do uh, revolving applications, that it goes on all year. Most schools in Bahrain, you cannot change schools or you cannot accept students past October 7th unless you are a new school. And so we've accepted a few students in the last couple of weeks. We believe we have somewhere between 30 to 50 starting in January and February. Uh, and we've, we've had a number of students uh, and families apply for 2021. So that will be ongoing. And um, Amal Darwish, who does our, admission, or our marketing for us, who's very, very good at it, 
<clears throat> we know fully well that the most important way to market a school is word of mouth. Uh, a happy student, a happy parent is a way to market the school. And, and, uh, and that's what we're trying to do. And I, to me, it's, it's, it's a lot of, it's mostly common sense. Uh, if we're doing a good job, if we're listening to students are saying, what parents are saying, and as I say, evolving on a daily basis, then uh, I hope this continues to be a great place for students to come. So I'm gonna leave it there. I do wanna say that if you have questions, we won't have time today, and it's not that we don't have time for questions, but before I pass it on to Steve Bodner, if you do have questions from today, please send your questions to info at asb.bh. That's I, N as in Nancy, F as in Frank, O as in orange, I obviously wasn't in the military, at asb.bh, we will answer all of your questions directly. Uh, so I'm going to happily turn it over to our school principal, Steve Bodner. Thanks, Dave. Okay, here I go. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to uh, uh, introduce myself and uh, get to three dates that I really want you to try and make sure that you're aware of. We Three important dates coming up in November. We have uh, swimming beginning on the 1st of November for a few of the classes. So that entire week, all grades will be swimming pre-K to grade nine. And we have sent out a letter today to both staff and students, uh, as well as parents to notify them about swimming, what they need to bring and uh, how many weeks we'll be doing swimming lessons. So we've uh, hired the Royal Life Saving Group of Bahrain and they'll be teaching our swimming lessons here in our new pools. So we have the 25 meter pool for the older students and a smaller uh, beginner pool for pre-K to grade two. So that doesn't mean that the grades uh, pre-K to two that already know how to swim will get an opportunity if they're ready to swim in the big pool. So that will be coming. Uh, and so we'll, we tr the whole idea is to make sure that our students are confident swimmers and that that happens prior to grade three. Uh, that's a long-term goal of ours and everyone we want to be a confident swimmer as, as part of one of our school goals. Also coming up in November, the 18th of November, we have uh, our progress report cards coming out to parents to give you a snapshot on what how your child is doing in school. And that will uh, certainly uh, give you the much needed in, uh, information that you need uh, to for our next uh, important date, which is coming up on the 25th of November, which will be student led conferences. So that's where you'll have an opportunity for your child, yourself and the teacher to talk about the progress that your child's made so far in the first few months of school. And that will be uh, an excellent opportunity. You've never had a chance to uh, experience a student-led conference. That will be something that you'll get a chance to, and we'll be going through this with the students over the next few weeks, preparing them for that, making sure that they know the questions <laughs> and information that they need to share with you. So they, you have an, a very strong idea on how well your child's doing. So uh, that's coming up, those three dates in November. Again, if, as Mr. Dave said, if you have any questions about any of those three, please uh, refer to info at aesb.bh and we'll get answer any questions that you have about any of those three special activities coming in November. I'll now introduce you now to the lead teacher in uh, early childhood and that's Miss Sandra. Go ahead Sandra. Hello everybody. I think many of you already know me. Uh, I just want to thank the parents. Let me begin with uh, thank you for the generous things you brought in. Awesome day. It made it Great success. We had a lot of food. We had a lot of sharing uh, with uh, the uh, candy. That ended up being so much that we actually spread it out along the whole school in individual bags. And it, the children just absolutely had a blast. They went from one activity to another and it was very successful. Well, I am planning another large uh, school wide event, but that'll be coming up in December and I'll be in touch with everybody about that. Uh, the most important thing I want to talk about is that we are now finishing up our fall unit and we said goodbye to it as of tomorrow will be our last day on the fall unit and it has been spectacular. 
but we're starting our biggest and our most favorite unit of the whole year, and that is Authors on Parade as a whole six-week unit. We'll spend two weeks with, uh, the first two weeks is gonna be with Julia Donaldson, the Garofalo's, I'm sure you're familiar with her, those, the Garofalo's child. She also has a uh, room on the broom, which many of you have noticed from our uh, last unit that we just now finished. And then we'll also have two weeks on Dr. Seuss, which you know him as very well as, you know, Green Eggs and Ham, uh, uh, Horton Hears a Who, and all of the Dr. Seuss books for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have two weeks of Eric Carl, which is the Brown Brown Bear, uh, also Polar Bear, Polar Bear, also uh, the Very Hungry Caterpillar, and some of his books. What's going to be special about this unit, and this comes via the suggestions of my staff in the early childhood section, and they came up with a brilliant idea. There is a book called The Book Tree. And I will be sending out the link that you can hear that book live. And that book talks about how a book fell, a book fell from a tree and hit the mayor of the town on the head. And as a result of that, he banned all books from this town and threw them out the window. And as a result, a wonderful tree grew from these books. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna recreate that tree down in the early childhood years. We're going to start out with the Julia Donaldson books and we're gonna put them in the tree. Every book that we read from Julia Donaldson and there's quite a few, I think there's close to 32 of them. Uh, we will be putting them in the tree. And then when we add Dr. Seuss books, which is, oh my goodness, there's probably another 40. And then we're gonna blow it up the very, very end with all of the Eric Carle books. It's gonna be a tree that's probably gonna span the entire wall of all the books that we're looking at and reading and studying down in the early childhood years. I hope you'll have a chance to join us on Seesaw. I will be taking pictures. We're gonna do a progression snapshot every week about how the tree is growing and what we've added to the tree and ask your child about those books. I will again be sending a lot of this information home on Seesaw, so don't worry about keeping it in your head. You'll have all the facts. So I'm gonna now turn it over to uh, Fouad, who is our Arabic uh, coordinator for the entire school, so Fouad. Hi, Assalamu alaikum. My um, name is Fuad al Anzaruchi, arriving um, from Dubai some 23 years ago and uh, moving from St. Christopher's to the Fairviews. And finally, I landed here in uh, the ASB. After six weeks, I could say, with the four members of staff, which we have Ahmad, Inas, Tahani and uh, Noor, uh, we started really quite well in terms of Arabic. Um, the books, we haven't received the books yet from the Ministry of Education, but we are doing quite well as we have all the books online. Even parents, if you are quite keen to, to get any of the books, we do have them online. I can send them to you or any of the teachers, they are there. We've been also quite busy with the library as we have loads of books, uh, which we have uh, uh, provided the library with. I think in a couple of days, they will be there and students can, can, can take them and, and, and they will start the borrowing system in the school. Um, after six weeks, I'm quite confident we are in the right path. The teachers are doing really great. Um, and, and most importantly, the students are really enjoying the classes of Arabic. Uh, if you have any questions, um, you're always welcome. My email is in the school email, um, falanzaruti at asb.bh. Uh, and you're all welcome. Ma'asalamu. Ayakallah. Hello, hello, boy. Hello, Barakallah. So thank you. Thank you, Fuad. Just to, for the parents' sake, we'll have our Arabic language teachers introduce themselves, and then we'll have our other teachers and TAs uh, introduce themselves. And they have a list so they know who's going next. So if you're, if you're not speaking, teachers or parents, uh, perhaps mute so there's no background noise. Thank you. Uh, good morning. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, ana, I am, my name uh, is Ahmed al uh, and I'm teaching grade three to eight Arabic language. Uh, 
for uh, Arab student uh, and I'm uh, uh, I uh, teach uh, Islam for uh, grade three to nine. Uh, I am glad to meet uh, you all and uh, thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I am Arabic teacher in Asrabaya. I teach grade one and two and grade nine and grade three and grade seven AFL student. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. I am Mr. Taha Nikhdari. I'm the Arabic teacher for K2 classes and uh, Arabic teacher for grade one and two for non Arabic speakers. Uh, civics and Arabic socialist teacher from grade one to nine. Nice to meet you, and it's my pleasure. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Noor Taqi, and I teach the early years Arabic to pre-KG and KG1. Nice to meet you all. Thank you. Hi, assalamu alaikum, everyone. My name is Ms. Marwa, and I teach kindergarten um, KG1. Good morning, everybody. I'm Ms. Dana, and I am teaching team teaching pre-K with Ms. Sandra. Good day, everyone. My name is Ms. Taryn Pods, and I'm teaching KG1. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ms. Michaela. I'm TA for both KG1 classes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Emer, and I'm the KG2 teacher. Lovely to meet you all. Hello, everyone. My name is Surya, and I'm the teacher assistant for KG2. Nice to meet you all. Good morning, everyone. My name is Miss Alex. I am the grade one teacher. It's so nice to see everyone. Hope y'all are well. Hi. Hi. Gosh, mute your thing. My name is Miss Leila. I am the grade one TA and the sixth grade social studies teacher as well. Hi, my name is Charlie Armstrong, and I'm student teaching with first grade with Miss Alex and Miss Leila. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jackie Fisser, and I teach grade two. Lovely to meet everybody this morning. Hello, I am Megan Mixon and I teach grade three. Good to see you all. You don't have earphones? Good morning. I am Miss Brenda and I teach four. Hello, everybody. I am Miss Bianca Breers and I teach grade five. It's lovely to see you all in this meeting and I cannot wait till we can have like a real meeting in real life. See you. <laughs> bye. Yeah. Greetings, everyone. My name is Danielle Davis, and I'm a science educator. Great to meet you all. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sarah Pillay, and I'm the grade six. <laughs> Just before Danielle joins, can I ask the parents who's don't have their mute on to turn their mute on because we're getting background noise and voices. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Neil Fisser. I am uh, responsible for social studies for grades seven and eight, and then also geography for grade nine. Uh, wonderful meeting all of you this morning and uh, looking forward to meeting you personally uh, when we have our student-led conferences. So do have a good day. Um, Salaamu Alaikum and good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Ahmed Lotfi. I'm the math teacher for grades uh, six to nine. And uh, hopefully as the students uh, progress through the uh, school years, I will be their uh, future business and economics teacher. Uh, very nice to meet everyone and have a good day. Hi, my name is Amber Acosta and I'm the technology integrationist. Nice, nice to meet everyone. Hi, good morning. My name is Michelle Sayre, and I'm the learning support teacher um, for pre-K to grade nine. And it's nice to have everybody here today. And like many have said, I'm looking forward to meeting everyone in person, hopefully soon. Hi there. I'm Melissa Ransom, and I teach ESL here, all grade levels. It's nice to see all of you. 
Good morning, my name is Scott Rogel. I teach uh, band grades five to nine and elementary music. Nice to meet you all this morning. Good morning, everyone. My name is Ms. Suyam Shin, and I teach PE to, uh, from grade, uh, KG2 to grade nine. Very nice to meet you all. Good morning, everyone. My name is Oli Meyer, and I'm teaching KG2 to grade nine art and design. Lovely to meet you all. And do we have Good Hussein? Morning. There you are. Yeah, okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, uh, ASP parents. I am Hussein Ala. I am the librarian assistant. Nice to meet you all and have a great, a great day. So that's that's the staff of teachers and teacher assistants. There's a, a another really important group behind the scenes that does everything they can to make everything all the teachers do in class uh, work well. And so I thank them in their absence. Uh, thank you to parents for joining us today. Uh, it's actually amazing that every person who spoke remembered to turn their mute off. I've been in many of these uh, Zoom meetings where somebody is introducing themselves or talking and uh, as everybody is telling them to turn off the mute. So uh, quite impressive. So thank you to all the staff. For those parents who were able to join us uh, this morning, we appreciate your presence and your commitment to your child's education. And as a number of staff said, and others didn't say, but I know feel, we can hardly wait till we can welcome you into our school physically because it is such an important part of what we do in terms of the uh, relationship between school and home. Uh, we have seen the questions in the chat that have come up. We will address those and we will get some uh, answers back to you there and on the info. We have recorded this, so we have all the questions that we can go back to. So again, Thanks. Uh, our goal was to keep this to half an hour and I think we've just about made it. So thanks very much and enjoy the rest of the day. And for all of you in a couple of days, uh, enjoy the long weekend. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. Pleasure to meet you, you all. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.